Good morning, class. So let us start this wonderful day with a prayer. Who wants to volunteer to lead the prayer? Okay, Miss Alvarez, please come in front and start our morning prayer. Thank you, Ms. Alvarez, for giving us a heartfelt prayer. Once again, good morning, class. How are you today? Oh, it's good to hear that you are all feeling good today. I hope everyone is refreshed, energized, and full of enthusiasm to learn our new topic today. Okay, class, before we start, please make sure that your surroundings are clean. Everyone, please stand up and pick up the pieces of paper that you see behind your chairs. Are you done? Okay, everyone, return to your seat. Okay, class secretary, please check our attendance for today. So there's no absent day. Okay, very good class. So please bring out all your assignments and class president, collect them and put them on my table so I could check them later. I'll give you five minutes for that. Okay, thank you, Miss President. So before we proceed to our new topic, who remembers what we have discussed last meeting? Right, we talked about the five basic functions of communication. So who can give the five basic functions of communication without looking on your copies? Yes, Mr. Fababir. Very good. The five basic functions of communication are regulation and control, social interaction, motivation, information, and emotional expression. Now, who can explain either one of those functions of communication? Yes, Mr. Garcia. Very good, that's right. Okay, before we proceed to the discussion, we will first have an activity. So, for this activity, you will be grouped into five groups and each group will be given flashcards containing scrambled letters. So, I will read some situations in which communication is applied and this and you will identify if what type of communication is being referred to in each situation. The group must form their answers through the letters given to them and the first group to complete the words and say the correct answer will receive a point. So now class, start grouping yourself into five groups. Okay, I'll give you two minutes for that. Now, here are the flashcards for group 1, who is group 1, please come in front, group 2, and of course, another one for group 3, okay, group 4, okay, and group 5, okay. Those flashcards contains letters which are, I mean, jumbled letters of the words intrapersonal communication, interpersonal communication, public communication, and 
mass communication. So now I will be reading the situations and you will be listening attentively so that you can identify which type of communication is being applied to in each situations that I read. Are you all ready? Okay, very good. So the first situation is John was thinking of a way how he can improve his communication skills. He reflects on his learning strategies. John was thinking of a way how he can improve his communication skills. He reflects on his learning strategies. Okay, very good. Group 2, you got the correct answer. Group 2 comes first. Let's give, let's give them a round of applause. Very good. Now, for the second situation. On her way to school, Mercy encountered Emmanuel. They exchanged conversation and went on their way. Again, on her way to school, Mercy encountered Emmanuel. They exchanged conversations and went on their way. What's the answer? Okay, group 5. Very good. Group 5 got the correct answer. Let's give them a round of applause. For the third situation, Amy and her group mates are given group tasks. They decide to stay in school for a while and discuss what they will do. Again, Emmy and her group mates are giving group tasks. They decide to stay in school for a while and discuss what they will do. What type of communication is being applied to in situation number 3? Group 3. Yes, very good group 3. Group 3 got the correct answer. Let's give them a round of applause. The fourth situation is, during the flag ceremony, the principal announced the schedule for the first grading examinations. Again, during the flag ceremony, the principal announced the schedule for the first grade, grading examinations. That the correct answer? Who comes first? Who came first? I mean... Okay, group two. Very good. Let's give them a round of applause. Very good. So guys, this is the last situation. All the groups must listen attentively so they will get the correct answer. Okay. Levy learned about the incident in Samar National School involving some students and guards when he watched TV last night. Again, Levy learned about the incident in Summer National School involving some students and guards when he watched the V last night. What's the correct answer? Is it intrapersonal communication, interpersonal communication, public communication, or mass communication? Okay, group one, very good group one. Let's give them a round of applause. Who got the most number of points? Okay, group one got the most number of points. Let's give them a round of applause again. Okay, very good. I think you are ready now for our next topic for the discussion. So, please be quiet while I was preparing the presentation. So, after our motivational activity, have you really realized what topic are we going to discuss today? Show me a hand of those who knew today's lesson. Oh, a lot of you know what our lesson for today, what we are going to discuss for today. So, that's right. Our topic for today is the types of communications. So, communication comes in different types, which we call the speech context. And the, can you see the presentation now? 
Okay, please read what is our topic for today. That's right, speech con context. So, what is the speech context? Yes, Mr. Tolentino? Okay, very good. There are four types of speech context. The interpersonal, interpersonal, public, and mass communication. Now, let us first discuss intrapersonal communication. What is intrapersonal communication? Yes, Miss Fabregas? That's right. We often talk to ourselves when we are alone, when we are thinking, and when we are making decisions. For example, when you are asked what degree program you want to pursue in college, or you think of your interests and talents, and your strengths and weaknesses before answering, that is intrapersonal communication. How about interpersonal communication? What do you think is interpersonal communication? Yes, Miss Fabiola? Okay, thank you. So, interpersonal communication is a speech context that happens between two or more people. There, there are two types of interpersonal communication, the dyad and small group communication. So, in dyad communication, two people are involved. For example, you talk to your mother to ask permission to go to BTS concert. <laughs> Another example is when you go to a clinic and ask the doctor about your health problem or when you talk to your friend about the drama you have watched. Meanwhile, in small group communication, three but not more than 12 people are part of the conversation. And this type of communication is present during brainstorming or collaborating with other people. For example, is when your group is pitching ideas for the research title to be presented, or when your family is discussing about your next vacation plan, or, or when your friends are planning for a getaway. Now, do you understand the difference between diet and small group communication? Very good. Okay, let us proceed to another type of speech context, which is the public communication. Anyone who could tell us what public communication is? Yes, Mr. Pilapil? Okay, thank you. So, public communication requires a large number of people as part of the exchange of information. For example, the school had expressed a message of thanks during the commencement exercise in the school or when a presidential candidate tells his or her platform in a grand rally. Another one is when a speaker gave a speech in front of students of Mindoro State University. Th those are examples of public communication. Did you get it? Did you get the difference between the three types of speech context? Okay, very good. Very good. Now, let us move on to our next topic, which is the type of speech style. A speech style, according to Martin Jones, 1976, is a, which, who is a linguist and German professor, a speech style refers to the form of language that the speaker utilized when which is characterized by the level of formality. It is identified into five types, which are the frozen, formal, consultative, casual, and intimate. I will show a video lesson about the different types of speech style and you need to watch and listen attentively because I will ask questions afterwards. Are you ready? Class, please keep quiet while I was while I was preparing the video presentation.
while the video is showing you will have to take notes of the contents that you will get from the video so that you can answer my questions later because my questions are part of the our recitation for today okay please watch the video i will play the video twice so don't worry notes about the video okay now let us start the question and answer portion my first question is according to the video what are the five types of speech style according to the video what are the five types of speech style <coughs> Yes, Mr. Marasigan? Very good. You did le listen well to the video. So, the next question is, what is the frozen style of communication? Yes, Miss De La Cruz? Very good. Now, what is the formal style? What is the formal style of communication? Miss Dillian? Okay. 
Okay, very good. So, Miss Garcia, what is the consultative style of communication? What is the consultative style of communication? Very good. Now, how about the casual style of communication? The casual style of communication. Mr. Fidelin, the casual style of communication. Okay, that's right. Lastly, what is the intimate style of communication? What is the intimate style of communication? Okay, Mr. Fernando. Very good. I see that you all listened attentively to the video that was presented a while ago. So, I'll give you an extra point for those who recited and answered my questions. Now, for our class activity, you will be grouped into four groups, and each group will choose any of the types of speech context through draw lines. After choosing the speech context, the group should think of a situation wherein interpersonal, interpersonal, public, and mass communication takes place. So, after that, they will make a dialogue based on the types of speech context that they have chosen. And they will present the dialogue in class through a role playing. I guess you love it. Okay, here is our rubrics for our activity for today. I'll give you 15 minutes to prepare for your presentation and 5 minutes for the role playing. You may start now, class. Okay, let's count 1 to 4 for the grouping since you are having a hard time choosing your groups. So let's just count randomly. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Group 1, please come in the left corner of the room. Group 2, come in the right corner of the room. And for groups 3 and 4, at the back part, please. Stand now, class, and start making your dialogues and prepare for our role-playing activity. Because there is a rubric to be followed, so you must really do well in making your dialogues. Make sure that the speech context that you have chosen is really applied in the dialogues that you will make. So, group 1, please have a representative to come in front to pick a page which contains the speech context that in which, which is the basis of your dialogue. Okay, pick now. Okay. Group 2, come forward. Have your representative to come forward. Okay, pick now. Okay. Groups 3 and 4, there are only remaining, there are only two remaining papers. You may choose which is, which could be yours. Okay. Start preparing now, guys. Now for our evaluation. Refer to what was in the 
slides identify which speech style fits each situation write frozen formal consultative casual and intimate number one chats between best friends is it frozen formal consultative casual or intimate style are you done number two group discussion Are you done? Number three, talking to a stranger. What speech style is it? Talking to stranger. Number four, corporate or other formal meetings. Number four, corporate or other formal meetings. Are you done? Okay. For number five, a presidential speech. Number five, a presidential speech. Number six, interview to a professional. Interview to a professional. Number six, interview to a professional. Are you done? Okay, for number seven, give a lecture in a seminar. Number seven, give a lecture in a seminar. Again, choose what speech style is being given. Is it frozen, formal, consultative, casual, or intimate style of speech? Number eight, teacher-student communication. Number eight is teacher-student communication. Are you done? Okay, for number nine is communication between work colleagues. Number nine, communication between work colleagues. Number ten, for the last number, talking to a family member. Number ten, talking to a family member. Is it frozen style, formal, consultative style, casual, or intimate style of speech? Okay. Time's up. Please pass your papers in front and I will collect them later. Stop writing now, guys. Pass your papers already. Because it's already time. So for your assignment, please refer to our slide. Suppose that you are a presidential candidate for the 2022 election. Make a speech for your grand rally campaign stating the reason why you decided to run for the position and what are your election platforms in case you will be elected as the new president of the Philippines. That's your assignment. Ready your assignment tomorrow. Before we start our class, I will collect them tomorrow. So, that's all for today. Goodbye, class. Goodbye.